Things in churches, essential knowledge. What's this? Chalice. What's the special table on which the sacrifice is made? Altar. What's this? A stained glass window. Where do the people sit in a church? Nave. This is the nave, this bit here, where all the seats are. This is the nave, where all the seats are, where the people sit. This thing is a sanctuary lamp. These are votive candles. The entrance room is called the narthex. Here's the narthex. It's the first bit you go into before the nave. This must be a bishop. He has a mitre on his head and a crozier in his hand. Where does the room, where, where does the priest prepare? He prepares for mass in the sacristy. This is a chalice. The walkways are called aisles. Note the spelling. This very, very precious box is called a tabernacle. The entrance room, the narthex. The special table, the altar. What's this bit? It's not the narthex. The narthex is the bit where you go in, but it's the bit where the people sit. It must be the nave. Notice the similarity with the word naval or navy. Nave refers to the boat. The boat, the church, is built. It doesn't look much like a boat, does it? But symbolically, it is a boat. It is a ship. It is a naval vessel in which we sail to heaven. It is like Noah's ark. The special box or tent in which the blessed sacrament is kept safe is called the, cha the, the tabernacle, sorry. These are vestments. The raised part of the church where the priest says mass is called the sanctuary. There we go, it's right up there, it has the altar on it. Which way do churches usually face? They face east. This hat, which a bishop wears, is called a mitre. The people sit in the nave. This thing here is a baptismal font where people are baptised in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit with water running down their skin. The room in which the priest prepares for Mass is the sacristy. These men are all priests. These men are all deacons. Note their slightly different vestments. This is a stained glass window. Churches usually face east. This is a monstrance. And inside the monstrance you can see a host the Blessed Sacrament. It has been taken out of the tabernacle and it has been put on display. It is being demonstrated in a monstrance. Monstrance means something that shows it is demonstrating. Catholics, when, when the tabernacle is opened and the, the Blessed Sacrament is put into the monstrance, we are blessed with the monstrance. This man here on the, on the uh, right, this is Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. He is raising up the monstrance. Notice how his hands are covered because he cannot touch the monstrance. His hands are covered and he is lifting it up and making the sign of the cross with it. This is a very special practice for Catholics called benediction. And the people facing the monstrance would bow and be blessed by the blessed sacrament, the body and blood of Jesus. To bend the knee is to genuflect. Ganu Kani means mid knee, ganu, and flect means bend, like when you are flexible. These are votive candles. We light votive candles, usually in front of a sacred image or statue, to ask the person represented in the image or statue to pray for us. What, do the, what does the priest usually wear? They wear vestments. This is a chalice. A chalice is that very fine and special, beautiful cup which holds the precious blood 
Some of these chalices in the pictures here are, are hundreds and hundreds of years old. These are statues. This is a bishop. He's wearing a mitre and in his hand he has a crozier. This is a deacon with some incense. Notice his vestment are slightly different to a priest. He's holding there some incense, smoke, scented smoke. The walkways are called aisles. This is a sanctuary lamp. You will get one or sometimes two of these lit in a church to show that the Blessed Sacrament is somewhere there present in the tabernacle. This is a baptismal font. The people sit in the nave, remember the boat. This precious box is the tabernacle, the tent. These are stained glass windows, which help us, not only are they beautiful and raise our minds to God, but they also help teach us the stories. If you are illiterate or you can't read, or you are a child or, or anybody, these can help us learn Bible stories or learn about the saints. This is a sanctuary lamp. The special table on which the sacrifice is made is an altar. These men are all deacons. This is a chalice. To genuflect is to bend the knee. These are all priests. And this is a bishop. These are bishops and they are both wearing mitres.